I'm Grace. I'm Claire. I'm Mia. Congratulations, you made it to the top of the mountain. We're at the source and summit of our faith, the Holy Eucharist. And today we are going to make our monstrance activity. So go get your supplies. It's all together in a little baggie. Go get it, find a place that you can paint and then come back and join us and we'll make our monstrances together. Mom, can we do the same now? Yes. Say bye. 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 See you soon. Yay. See you soon. Hi, welcome back. Now that you have your supplies, we're gonna get started with our craft. Are you ready, Grace? Yep. Yeah. All right. So first thing we're going to need is our cardboard circle. So everybody take out your cardboard circle. You're also going to need your paintbrush and your little cup of paint. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna paint the back side of our cardboard circle. Which one is the back? So that's a good question, Grace. The back is the part that has all the bumpy soot uh, holes in it. So one side is smooth and one side is bumpy. So we'll, the bumpy side is the back. We're gonna put that side up and we're gonna open our little cup of paint. All right, you might have some paint on your lid, but that's okay, you can use that as part of your paint. And then just dig right in, start painting away. Cover the whole circle. Done. Me too. So cover it as best as you can. It's mine. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks. And then once we finish that, we're gonna put this one aside. I might need to get more paint on your paintbrush. You should have plenty of paint, so don't worry about trying to not use too much. And so once we have that side, we're gonna set that aside, let that dry a little bit. And then we are going to get out our candlestick. I think that looks good, perfect. All right, so get your candlestick and you're gonna paint your candlestick with the gold paint too. So now that we have our candlesticks painted, we're gonna put those aside to dry. We're gonna 
take our cardboard circles, flip them over. It might still be a little bit wet, but that should be all right. Just make sure wherever you're putting them isn't someplace that's gonna get ruined with paint. And then we're going to paint the front of our circles. Make sure to cover the whole thing. So now we're gonna set these aside and we're gonna let those paint, those paint, we're gonna let those dry. <laughs> yeah. And then while we wait for those circles to dry, we can take out our white circle. Yep, enclose your paint, get it out of the way. All done with the paint. Okay, so we are going to draw a cross on the center of our white circle. And Grace, what are you gonna to use to draw your cross? I am going to use a marker. So you're using a marker. I chose a crayon and I just chose blue because I wanted to. So you can choose whatever you would like and then just draw a very simple cross in the middle. You could draw it big, you could draw it small. Yeah. Draw a tiny. I drew mine big. What did you do? I did a small. I like yours. I am going to make a little bit bigger. Not really in the middle that well. I like it. There. Perfect. All right. So we can go back to our cardboard circles, give it a little blow. The paint dries pretty quick. You might see some wet paint inside. The pipe cleaners are gonna go right through those holes and clear them out for us. That's not a problem. You whistling? <laughs> so we're gonna take the pipe cleaners out of our bag. And we should have 14 holes. We're gonna take each pipe cleaner and we're gonna start at the front side. So the not the smooth side, not the bumpy side. And you can start any hole that you want and we're gonna push the pipe cleaner through about an inch. So about that far. Is that about an inch? A little bit further. Probably like the top part of your thumb from your knuckle to your a little bit further. And then you're gonna just bend it up. This? Yep, and then just bend it together. And give it a little pinch. And it'll stay. There. And then you're gonna wanna continue to do that through all the rest of the holes.
All right, so we have all of our pipe cleaners in. Mine are different sizes, but I'm gonna fix them after. <laughs> I like it different sizes. I think that looks cool. Unique. Unique, yeah. And you can always, like Grace said, move them around or change them when it's done. We're gonna flip it back over, make sure that you're on the front side of the circle. And we are going to put on a little wooden host. So you're gonna need your glue stick. And on the back side, the back side, not the side with the cross on it, you're going to put your glue. Lots of glue. Like stick into my glue stick. And then you're going to place it right in the center and push down to get it to stick. Put right in the middle. Push it down. Perfect. So we should look like this. Show yours. We have one more step and then our monstrance is done. So if you look where you have the big gap, this is where your candlestick is gonna go to finish off the bottom of the monstrance. There's already a pipe cleaner glued into each candlestick. These two pieces are gonna go through the middle of the cardboard. So if you look through, you can see some space in between the two layers of the cardboard and these two pipe cleaners are gonna go right through that section. They could go through both. They could go through one. They could go both. One I go put, one, one go two. I put mine in two different little sections. Me too. I don't know if mine's gonna go in. Did you get it? Not yet. Do you want me help? Yes. <laughs> Look for the holes. Stick it through. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mine's bending. There, huh? got it. Okay. Then you can fix your rays of your monstrance exactly how you like it. I'll show them everybody your monsters. Here's mine. So everybody's is gonna look different and that's the beauty of it. And then you can put this somewhere in your house. You can put it on um, your prayer table and that way when you look at it, you'll remember the source and summit of our Catholic faith, Jesus and the Eucharist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for making this craft with us. Bye. Bye.